You know what I want to call this? What? M82 2.0. M82 2.0? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Make sure everything's still functioning properly. Put a real chip back in there. Nothing. Drawn about an amp, it's about what you would expect. Huh. Maybe it needs all those pins hooked up for some reason. I wonder if one of them's a power good. I don't think it is. Is very strange. Hope they didn't blow anything up when the power supply decided to eat itself. Nothing seems hot. It's hooked up right. Interesting. We don't have any power on that chip. I guess you have to have all these hooked up after all. Or at least I bet this red one. Let's see. I bet that red one comes out separate. Just to be just to be bastards about it. Sure enough, they sure did, those bastards. <laughs> for some reason, they decided to run power for this ASIC separate from everything else. I have no idea why they would do that. I love this type of wire, so it's awesome. If it's thicker, I'll use this instead of that other stuff. seen the kinds that the plier handle has got like an alligator head that comes down and then like the metal comes back to strip it off. Oh, it's like an automatic one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen those. I had three of them and I keep breaking them. Uh -huh. they're plastic. Yeah, yeah. So I finally said that's metal. Oh, okay. And it works better? Oh my god. Well, these ones are pretty and I can strip, too. I can strip uh, eight conductors of ribbon cable. Oh, all at once? Oh, that's pretty awesome. It's so, 
This will help with the voltage drop also. So I'm going to hook up orange and blue to ground. And red and red to 5 volts. And I'll lower my This wire's a lot thicker, so it should handle that one amp, no problem. Maybe you have to set up banana jack leads. Yeah, I wish I did. It's kind of obscene. I don't have it. I don't have those yet. I need to buy them. I just haven't done it. I bought a bunch of those leads. I have alligator clips on both ends. Oh yeah? Sometimes they're convenient. Sometimes the alligator, alligator clip is just not what you want to be putting into a circuit, you know. It's just uh -huh. touching everything too, else. Too big, and, yeah. Yep, yeah, I've had that issue. Uh? grounded so the ASIC should be getting 5 volts and the RAM chip should be getting 5 volts and the damn connector is being an asshole again. There we go. Okay, RAM chip's 5 volts, ASIC's 5 volts, ground and we're not shorted, right? Right. There we go. Sweet. Working again. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a spectacular power supply <laughs> fail like that. Twice. <laughs> Pretty epic. Yeah. Twice no less. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's okay. Yay. We're working again now. Let's see if MP Lab's still pissed off or not. Mom, we're. Ah, there we go. It found it that time. Floor. Okay. Release from reset. Fest um, this year, five bucks. Hamfest? Yes. You don't know what Hamfest is? I have an idea, but where? Um, it was at the fairgrounds, the um, Marion County Fairgrounds this year mm -hmm. in July. There's another one in Fort Wayne I'm going to. I usually have lots of lots of old uh, computers. Like is there a big one in? Dayton? Yes, I go to that every year. Hambench, and I was there this year. Last, last three times I've been to that. Somebody was posting something about it. I don't know if it's you or somebody else. So basically, all this does is shows you if it's low or high. So you look at power, oh, well, it's going to be high. You look at ground, it's going to be low. So what I'm going to look at is 
some of these signals going into the chip. Okay, we're never latching anything, that's the problem. I think I was at that point when everything blew up. And F call right that. Set the latch. Clear the latch. Set bit five. Right, right, and then I gotta set the latch again. One more time. Yeah, see now it's up. Oh, there's the power pack. See it? There's the power pack. Game three. One, two, three. Is that right? Nope. What game is that? Nine. Nine? It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so it does. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve's the intro. What do they mean? Well, on this hardware. On this hardware. Twelve is that. I see. So zero. So now we gotta figure out the mapping, which which port goes with which number. And then I'll make a little table which will unscramble it. And that'll be it pretty much. Other than the hold the reset button down trick. So, we got to figure out now where I can get the cartridge out. And we can take that metal front off. That not work. So, this is game one. I probably don't have to test them all. I could probably figure it out after looking at a couple. If you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's a button bounce. I'll have to take care of that. I'm guessing that's going to be 10. Okay, it is. Yeah, I already see, I already see the pattern. Testing. So this should be, I think, will be 9. might get tricky. There might be a gap in there somewhere. So we think that'll be seven or five. Okay, and it is. I 
And then we think that'll be six. Okay. This we think will be five. Okay. And then that was that would be four, and this was three. I wonder why that's inverted like that. And we know that one was three. So this should be two. Zero. It is. And this should be one. Yeah, and then let's see if we're lucky number zero. So that's very easy to do. And it is. Okay. Well, that's easy enough to unscramble. I'll just take 12 and subtract it from the number we're writing to it. So 0 becomes 12 and 12 becomes 0. Zero is the menu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is power pack. Sweet. I'll get some more cartridges. Oh, Mario 3, that'll work. This is slot nine. There's Mario 3 with the broken eye or two. <laughs> How about that? Cool. So that's parts done. I guess I'll just leave it in there. Now I'll make a function that sets the game number. I'll call it set game. And break it all out, break the code all out. That. And that way it'll start, we can start it up in the um, attract mode. Well, isn't attract mode, if it sees no use, then it starts cycling through the games and letting them play yeah. the initial yeah, I think few so. seconds of the game and then go to the next one? Yeah. So, zero is really just like. It's intro. Just, it's just that intro thing, yeah. I mean, it could be made to cycle through, but that's more code, and I don't, I don't think, think anybody cares. If anybody's yeah. going to do this, they're not cared about. It. Yeah, not that's what about I figured. Mode. Well, someone wants. Although, to, you know, if they just want to turn it on and let it cycle for no reason. 
actually I could do that if you don't if you don't press a button. I can actually make it cycle through. Here, let me do that real fast. The only problem is it'll stop on every slot. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure people out there that have an MA2 have 12 games put in there. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope. <laughs> This. We could even make custom carts to put in there for them, just stupid shit to cycle through. True. So personalize it, how about that? Yeah, you can put a cartridge in there that has your name or whatever, That's right. their name on it, yeah. Cool, so it starts up in game zero, which is a nice. little intro doodad. 12. Super. So there's that. Here I'll do a thing where it cycles through the games really fast. That shouldn't be hard. I'll call that a trap. Does it show, it shows that this thing between every game, doesn't it? I think it does. Can't remember. No, I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it does. It wouldn't bother me if it didn't. Mm-hmm. I don't think it matters a whole lot. No. Basically, I'm going to check for the button, and if the button is not pressed... Once the button is pressed, it'll go into the main function, but if the button is not pressed, it will cycle through the games. Now basically what it's going to do is going to it'll keep it'll check for that button. And if you've pressed it, it will get out of the attract mode. And you can't go back in until you cycle the power again. I'm that's sure, good. I'm sure that's fine. That way when they're playing it doesn't just go into attract mode. For no yes. Reason. So what we're going to do, it'll start on that, then we will increment run the game. And then, oh, I got even better idea. We'll look for game 24. So, temp 2 will start on 1. That's the game we're going to play, so we'll start on game 1.
like that. So then it will play the attract thing. Now basically every time through it's going to show this first and that will show the game and then show this and then the game, that the game, that the game and so on and so forth. So and then we'll check the button and then we'll increment and then One in there. One in there. It'll. I'm just trying to think when it loops around what it's going to do. It's going to play game 12, and then we got to show the attract thing again. So I guess I gotta. I gotta load two in there. All right. Yes. Two, two is in the first game. So that's going to be 26. And then this has to be two also. Like that. Like that. Okay. So we'll start on the first game. So it'll. Yeah, okay. So then we're gonna. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. We'll find out. If it doesn't air out anyway. Oh, okay, damn it. Illegal character. Resets here. There's game one. Track mode. Game two. <laughs> Attract mode. Enjoy. Three. Four. I'd load it up with cartridges, but I don't have that many cartridges, I don't think. Unless I load it up with um, Sachin games. I think I have enough of those. Actually, I think I'll do that. I'll go get the Sachin games and load that thing up. Osation games.
sure if they're all. Those scores again, right? No. So these came directly from them. Really? I had a buy of them, yeah. We? Yeah, a bunch of us on IRC about 12 or 13 years ago contacted them. Yeah, it does. Barely. Just barely. <laughs> so is this the whole set? Uh, yeah, I have a whole set. There's there's some duplicates in there. It's really interesting. So they made Flaming Apes too? Or yes, they did. A lot of these use interrupts, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. It'd be fun, that's what happened. <laughs> this one doesn't fit worth a damn. I don't want to force it. That's one of their lockout defeater boards, yeah. That doesn't fit worth a damn either. Here we'll put Mario in there. Since it wants to be a bastard about that top slot. The current's higher. Not by much. Now there's Mario 3. I don't know if any of those games even work. Those games may be broken. That's why they're in that box. I have some that work and some that don't, and I don't know which are which. These must all be broken ones. Well, that sucks. Yeah, none of those games work. I'll go grab what few NES games I still have. I know those don't use interrupts. Lockout. They sold a a doodad that plugged in here, had a cable coming off, and they had a cartridge port for a cartridge. So you plug the cartridge in there to use its lockout chip through that header. That's what that's for. So those games do not have their own defeater in there? I think they all do, but I don't know why they did that. Yep. Yeah, same thing. Maybe. I don't know, sell for very much on eBay, I don't think. I mean, it looks for them, I wouldn't know. I think they're so rare that most people don't collect them. Oh, yeah. You know, that's always a problem. Well, I know Nintendo Age has a award, I think. An award? Yeah. You know. Like, what kind of award? For having all of them or something? Maybe. There's probably different kinds of awards. Oh. Well, I'd probably win all of them. Since I have one of every, I, at one point I had one of every cartridge. Now I'm loading up the system with all the fun stuff. Garage carts. Maxi 15. Get these things out of here. That NSF cart won't work because it doesn't have a game, it doesn't have code on it. RAM cartridge. I'm just going to open that up if you wanted to see how horrible it looked inside. I mean, it's really pretty terrible. It works, though. I don't know if it still works. There, that's 10 games. Ah, Action 52. Gotta have the Action 52 now. Not only is this the most expensive Nintendo ever made, now it's loaded up with some of the most expensive games <laughs> in existence. <laughs> God forbid it blows this up. And <laughs> well, it'd be my fault, it's my power supply. <laughs> Oh, look, look how wow. it's... Uh, 800 milliamps worth of cartridges in there. <laughs> oh, there's a 115 in one. Okay. That's the first one. The next one should be Action 52, and it is. And this is MGC. Yeah. And this one should be... I don't care for going back to the intro every time. You don't like that? 
Oh, okay, I can get that. Yeah, I kind of don't like that either. Uh, let's just see if it works. Next yeah. one should be Maxi 15. Maybe it's dirty. Mega Man 2. Yep. And then Gauntlet. Yep. And then Boulder Trash. And then uh, 150 and 1. Yep. Mario 3 and then Power Pack. Awesome dude. <laughs> and then we'll try. I wish I would have known you years ago. Gonna add the reset. Then we're pretty much done. You said you had those last few games because they were for testing? Yes. Boulder Dash is some special? It's just uh, MMC1, but I needed MMC1, so there we go. So, And I like playing it, so that's why I kept it. Oh, really? Yeah, that one and uh, Mega Man 2. I had all the six Mega Mans. I sold the others as a set, and I got like mega money for that. Yeah. I, I well, just been about a year. I used to sell Mega Man 1 through 6 for a little over a hundred dollars as yep. often as I could get them. Yeah, that'd be about right. Not even really be in really great shape or anything. Yeah, mine had, some of them, the labels had shit on them, you know, other labels, but some of them, a couple of cartridges I sold, I still got a lot of money, I can't believe it. They had put, uh, they had like, took an engraver and engraved mm -hmm. on them. Yeah. That's really sucked, but it didn't seem to really kill the value a whole lot. Which now I know, now I know you're a hair blower or a hair dryer trick. Yeah. I have a question to transfer labels now. True. I know mean, I haven't tried it yet. But I, I haven't tried there's it either. A few games I would like to get a different shell on. You know. No, that's a good idea. Ooh, so this seems to work. So now I'll do the hold the button to reset trick, and I'll I'll get rid of that on the attract mode. I will cut out my beautiful code that I did. <laughs> Here, all I have to do is just that and that, and I think that'll work. So there's zero. Oh, it's still got one. Oh, yeah, now it's going to play each game twice. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's using the lower bit, which toggles each time to show the attractor, not show it. So what about time? Um, I can set anything you want, pretty much. Zero appeared to be about 18 seconds long, the intro. Oh, on the original? Uh-huh. Okay. No, I mean, I, yeah, I kind of threw the loop. Okay. How long it stays on each game? Oh yeah, I could probably do that. <laughs> 128 minutes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Zero back in there. Okay, I think that will do it. Let's see. Okay. Go zero. One. Yeah, it looks like it works. Sweet. I like how those multi carts get all screwed up when you've played them and go back to them. Did you notice that? Uh -huh. Like this one, it's all screwed up because it didn't it didn't get reset properly because it only resets on power up. 
So once you select the game and go back, it's all screwed up. Mm. Not all of them do it, but a lot of them do it. Like this uh, Maxi 15, obviously, just pissed off being in here. I did hook that switch up to the microcontroller. King set for zero is always 18 seconds, and the rest are what do you changeable. Mean? The intro. Oh, it's shorter. The intro is 18 seconds, no matter what. But the other games. Would this would changing this actually change how long it showed? That's what I'm going to say. Oh, now that's kind of hard to do. Right. I'd have to. Well, I mean, I could probably do it. Hmm, let's see. I can see how long that. About three seconds for the numbers I have in there now. So. Oh, here it is. So I was loading 10 in there. 10 is equal to about three seconds, so if I want six. six, so I put 60 in there, should be about 18, so let's see. It does its thing. That's perfect. Okay. So 60 for that. So here's what I'll do. Um, so I'll load 60 in there if this is game zero. So. Basically now what I'm doing, if it's game zero, it will always do 18 seconds. And then on the other games, I'll read the switch. So I'll load 10 in there. And then... <laughs> Funny. Let's see. Number four. That. Ah. Okay, so I set it to about three seconds. About 20 seconds, 30-ish seconds, and about a little under a minute. The first one is three, is that you said? Three yeah. seconds? Yeah. So, let's see what happens. Set. I think all the way up. Yeah. 
there. Now it's set on the, um, the shortest one. Yep, now set it next to that. Boop. So now it should be about 20 seconds. Beautiful. 12 seconds right now. I'm looking at the clock here. I think that looks like a... Uh, it's supposed to be a squid, but I think it kind of looks like a feminine hygiene product. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Complete with the string. <laughs> I know, that's terrible. Yeah, about 20 seconds. Next step up. I don't know why I said 20 seconds with it. Oh, there it goes. And that is like screwed. Okay, 51 seconds after. Twenty seconds. Twenty seven seconds. That yeah, close to thirty seconds. It's twenty one after right now. This will that's a max. So it'll do it after the next one. That's a great idea for that. Love it. Should switch any second now. And then we'll do maximum length. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 47 after. So this will be the longest one. This will be about 40 seconds, I think. What is it? 47 after? So it's been 10 seconds. I don't see a reason for three seconds. Though. Okay, what well, do you want me to change it to? I'll here I'll put it at what, about what do you ten. Now? Yeah, ten seconds. Ten. Fine. Okay. So like we got 10, 10, 20, 30. 20, 30, about forty-five. Something like that. Okay. So now the switch actually does something. I love that. That's great. Okay. Try it again. So can we switch her all the way back? about 10 seconds or some uh yeah about that that's the clock here so it'll always show that for the 20 some seconds that's unchangeable okay three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so that's the track mode actually still works. That's awesome. <laughs> um, manual game select works. So the next step is final step, I should say. And that is hold the button to reset. The card. Let's select it on. Yeah, so what I was thinking about doing when you hold the button on maybe having a countdown or something. Genius. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so you know it's actually doing something. Yeah, I love it. It can even just do the, uh, well, I kind of was fine, but where it flashes, you know, does that swirly thing. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. Can't do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
because if, if the seven segment displays were hooked up directly, you could do it, but since they have that uh, decoder, you can't, you're stuck. I see. You know what I mean? Right. So, I mean, I could flash them, I mean, make them go black and then show up again. That works. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Could you make it flash the game that's already selected on? Yeah, but that would screw it all up because you want to reset it. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Okay. So, oh, you mean if it's like on game 8 of like 8 blank, 8 blank, 8 yeah. blank, reset. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... This is way more fun than doing it by yourself. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. That sounded very... <laughs> <laughs> So basically, everything is all hooked up now. I think that we're using everything except detecting the lockout chips, which we don't want to do. Oh yeah, I wanted to be able to show that. Here, put some. Oh, that works. Yeah, oh, that works. Just... Oh, okay. Oh, that's the first yeah. I don't know what you can do about that. I guess you could replace it if it got bad enough. I you could replace that. I'm not sure if it's that many vectors though. Oh, that's um, looks like 16. 10, 14. And let's see, yellow, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, that's 14. Can you crimp that? Can you crimp these? Oh, I have a Arbor Press at work. I Hammer. use Vice. <laughs> yeah. Vice works good. Don't don't hammer them. <laughs> I've mean, never actually made one of those before. Oh, you haven't? Mm -hmm. oh. Never had a reason to. Well, if you ever have to make them, let me know if I can make them at work. It's I a, might be able to just order them, too. Yeah. Well, I like being able to make them. I mean, it's not hard. It's extremely easy. You just put the cable in and just go, yeah. that's it. If I had a reason to make them, then I'd buy the equipment to do it. But mm. Yeah, I make so them. Far, I, I make them a lot. Reason. I make lots of them. I really like these type of cables. Color-coded? No, um, IDC cables, insulation displacement connector, that's what those are called, oh. IDC, so if you have to buy them, that's what they call them. So. And that refers to the pins that... Yeah, that push through the insulation. So, and these are the, remember I was telling you about the connectors, I like that, these are them right here. Yeah. So I have the crimper for these too, so that's why these are everywhere. If you look that at stuff it. I have made before. I mean, I don't have that equipment. But you now, have but made those. Nice job, yeah. yeah, I really like those. Okay, so that's that. So now the last thing is we just got to detect the button hold held down. So to do that, I'm, I will run a counter. And basically, we'll run a counter. And when the counter expires, it'll make that display blank. And if it does it three times, it will reset the current game without changing the number. That's how it'll work. Beautiful. So, I need to make a counter. Okay, so I have a timer set up for about one second. So, I'll set the timer up for half of that, about two. And then what I'll do is, if you press the button, it will count down. So, we'll check that for a minute. Uh, ten, two, three,
constantly reload this counter, that button is not pressed. The second you press that button, it will start counting down. Okay. So it'll start counting down. Then we we'll Basically, I want to be able to make it so it doesn't, it's not affected by button bounce because, you know, button bounce is a bad thing. Hmm. Maybe I'll say that that button has to be held down a certain amount of time before it registers as being held down, you know what I mean? <laughs> they have to run through all the games really, really fast. <laughs> oh, crud. So the button has to be up. And so... If the button is clear, meaning it's pushed, we'll go down here. Otherwise, we'll go here. Oh. Main and then we'll count down if that button is pushed. And we'll keep doing it. Okay. I think that'll do it. I have no idea why it resets it that many times. affected by button bounce. I write the code in a different fashion so it makes some of this easier. If 
See, that's working pretty good. Okay, awesome. So the button is debounced. Awesome. So now the button hold down length can be tested. So to do that, I'll set up a counter. So we want it to flash three times. So it will be six because they're on and off. It is, counts as two. Four. Then we will check that button. And if it's held down, down to zero. If it counted all the way down to zero, we will not change games. Go to reset only. Like that. Oh. So now we're in here. Now we do the timing at this point. So four in there. Get to this point, it means um, we've got to the point where it's going to flash that thing. So then, what I'll do, I will um, write to the LED. So now we got to reset the system. So what I'll do is uh, 
set game function. reset that damn timer, don't I? Yeah, that's why. Okay. Like that. Yeah. That would be why I'm overwriting that variable. No, well, that's not good. times bigger. Let's see if that does it. I know why. Yeah, I gotta fix something else and that should work. Seems to 
reset just fine. Part of the time. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It didn't blank like it should, but that that reset. But it won't start back on game one. That's the last thing I got to fix. No, I supposed to start back on game one. It should. So let me make it blank the display properly. where I fixed up the number to make it display right, so I have to basically jump around that because I don't want to do that anymore. Oh, now the MaxiVision intro works. displays out. do is just keep it on three when it switches and call it good. I don't know why it, it's switching back. Oh, actually I do know why it's switching back. get released. So the button is indeed released at this point. Okay. Oh, I know why. Yeah, I know exactly why. Oh, 
Oh. Whoops. Got a return in there that should not have been in there. So it's crashing the CPU and resetting. Whoops. How's that? How's that? Excellent. Uh, yep, yeah, works. So that's pretty much it. Pause for a second here. <laughs> 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah, you have to press the button twice to select the next game, but actually I think that's fine because when you hit the button the first time, it cancels the... Oh, well, that time it worked. You were already on one. Oh. Yeah, because it seems to be working now. Hm. Put it back in. Guess it's good to go, huh? Here, what I'll do. Out. Done. You want to program another four? Yeah. Yep. Test them too. Do they work? Those people can buy them from me if they want them. Yep. So that one works. I'll get one. Yep, you get one. <laughs> <laughs> Header in the wrong way. Kind of even the wrong way. Well, so, long versus short. Uh, fat versus skinny. I knew I'd screw that up at least once. Wait, what? Well, one side of the pins is fat, and one side is skinny. Fat. Okay. I mean, it still works, but it'll bend the socket pins a bit. I didn't do that, I ended up doing that. 
Okay, so this one works. Take those off and we do them. Just won't go in there. I got the square pans go in there. Those will go in there. <laughs> He'll just bend the snot out of the socket. I won't just leave that in there then. It just won't go in there. Good enough to program it though. Nope. You know, those pins are just too damn big. Oh well. Oh well, I'll fix them later. That's that. One thing out of the way. 